Starting with diving masks and snorkels, I began to teach the Conways the fundamentals of diving. Ah, cramp! Wait, wait a minute, will you? Conway didn't understand that a pair of fins were to save effort, not to set speed records. All right. Hey, right here. When I thought they were ready, I introduced them to the diving model. I tried to get across the idea that the equipment was delicate and technical, and that in diving there was only one way to do things, the safe way. That's fine. Right. So I try to... Yeah. Okay. That's right. Subject. I taught them theory as well as practice. I figured Conway would follow the rules better if he understood the reasons. To give a clear picture of what changes in pressure do to the lungs, I demonstrated with a balloon. First, I filled it with air at the bottom. Then I swam up with it very slowly. what would happen to your lungs if you come up too fast. It's called air embolism. A change of pressure has the same effect on your lungs as it does in this balloon. If you come up too fast, the air in your lungs expands, your lungs get bigger and bigger, and they finally burst. Just like this balloon did. How fast should you come up? Just keep under the bubbles of your diving lung, you'll be all right. And if by any chance you come up without your diving lung, it's pretty obvious you hold your breath. If you do that, you'll be sure to burst your lungs. No, you've got to equalize the pressure inside and outside of your chest. And to do that, you got to exhale as you go up. Say, uh, when do we stop going to school and start hunting? When I think you're ready to. When you think. We've done pretty well so far listening to Mike. Mike, huh? We've only been diving at a depth of 20 feet so far under controlled conditions. We're going to have to go down to 70 or 80 feet for those sharks and up again. You don't know how yet. Well, what I know is I'm due back in New York in 10 days. I want a shark before I leave. It's not that easy. 75 feet down is a different world. Well, if I don't get my shark, you don't get the rest of that $5,000. Elliot, that's not fair. Mike's done everything he possibly can. Shall we get started with those lessons? I care if I skip the lesson today. I feel terribly tired. If you don't feel up to it, sure. Gloria, what's wrong with you? You never backed out on me before. I know. Oh, let's get on with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Diving can be dangerous if you're tired. You can catch up with us tomorrow. Jose, give her a hand, huh? Thanks, Mike. Say, Gloria, are you sure you feel all right? All things considered. Well, we can call the whole thing off, you know. Really? Well, sure. We don't have to do it today or even this trip. We can come back. That's what I thought you meant. We're ready, Mike, if you are. Yeah. In a minute. Funny shark for us, Nelson? Enough to keep you busy. We'll go down as soon as I uh, get this bait ready. You're gonna use it for bait, huh? Yeah. I'm hoping that they'll go for them. If they do, you can go for them. You make it sound so simple. It isn't. We'll be 75 feet down. 
Our lungs will be under three times the pressure they are now. Now, do you know what to do in case anything goes wrong? And you have to come up without a diving lung? You come up very slowly. Don't panic. Don't try to hold your breath. Exhale. Yeah, I know. That's right. Now, a lot may happen down there very fast. When it does, you'll have to decide for yourself when to fire. Just be sure that we're out of the way. Oh, I'll be sure. I know what I'm after. Good hunting. As we swam down together, I prayed that the Conways would remember and follow my instructions. Facing sharks by yourself is tough enough, but having responsibility for other people on a shark hunt is really harrowing. I pointed to the sharks and we moved toward them with the bait. I knew they probably wouldn't attack us right away. Men with diving lungs is something new to them. wide circles, but one big one rushed in and gulped our bait. While we were looking for a good chance to strike, Dr. Gomez arrived above us to ask for Conway's plane again. No, see the doctor, they are diving below. We didn't know that Gloria was hurt and that her regulator was damaged. Conway and I were moving in on a shark when I looked back and saw Gloria lying on the bottom. We rushed back. The shark sensed the trouble and followed. It was then that Conway came through like a hero. He was very calm as he quickly gave Gloria the mouthpiece of his diving lung. could see that the mood of the sharks was changing fast. I sent the Conways up. They shared the lung in the way. I stayed down as a rear guard to keep the sharks from going after them. I thought the big one who had taken our bait would go for me any second.
moved in for me. I shot my spear. I got him. As he struggled, I surfaced as fast as I could. I was hoping the other sharks would go for him, not me.